Hello everyone, my name is MJ. I'm from Nigeria and I study in the medical faculty at NSU. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm from Spain and I'm studying philology. Now we are at the Tolmachevo International Airport in the city of Novosibirsk. So we've made this special instruction video just for you. We'll explain you how to get from the airport to Novosibirsk State University in Akadem Garadok. And how to check into the dormitory and get registered. And how to exchange money, where to buy a SIM card, or how to connect to the internet. Get ready, we've got a lot of useful information just for you. I'll go to NSU campus with a driver. And I will do everything else by myself. Oh, here's my driver. I'm OFMG. Good luck. Bye. So I'm going to tell you the most convenient way to get to Akadem Garadok. When I was at home, I got a message from the NSU International Student Support Center that gave me information about where and when I will be met by a driver in the airport. They also gave me a phone number that I can call in case of emergency. The most important thing is to look around. A driver will be holding a sign with your name on it. That's it. We will meet up at the Novosibirsk State University campus. I wonder how MJ will cope with his first Siberian journey. Suppose you, like me, decide to go on your own. Onwards. You can take a taxi to Akadem Garadok. All you need to do is just download the application and indicate the point on the map. The address is Kirogova 1 Street. There's also a direct bus from Tamochivo Airport, but this runs only a few times in a day. There are other public transport routes to the university, but this has to do with a lot of transfers. So, what do we do? We can actually take the bus 11E, which takes you to Novosibirsk Main Train Station, and this runs after every half hour. And do not forget, that is your stoppage point for getting off. Yes, that's what the station is called in Russian. You are doing just fine. You can pay the fee when you get into the bus. Super, we're here. Now you just need to take bus 8. It stops right there. It's just a few steps to another stop. Once you're on the bus, you will arrive in between an hour and a half and two hours, depending on traffic. You will want to get off at the last bus stop, have a nice trip. Here's a stop, let's get off. Welcome to Akadem Garadok. Yes, it will be your home for the next few years. Our path goes right through the forest. Go straight there. The fresh air, the birds and the squirrels. You can meditate on the way. Akadem Garadok is a very unique place. It's a very cool place to study. We are close. Energy is over there. Follow me. Hey, MJ. Hey. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, I'm here. It was a long journey. What else? Now let's go to the dormitory. It's quite near. Okay, let's go. If you arrive on the workday, you need to go to the dormitory manager on the first floor here. Follow me. If you're arriving on the weekend, do not forget to inform the International Recruitment Office. Dormitory manager will prepare all the necessary paperwork for the security guard so you can move into your room right away. The other paperwork will be done during the first working day. If you're worried that you won't be able to move in by yourself, let the International Student Support Center know in advance and a volunteer will help you with any questions. So now we're going to fill in the questionnaire. Prepare a small photo in advance, just as I did. Usually, one room is shared by two people in this dormitory. You and your neighbor will have a room with two beds, desk and bedside tables. There is a big wardrobe and shower with toilets in the hallway of your room. On each floor, there is a shared kitchen where you can cook and keep food and dishes. 
After being settled in your dorm room, you can walk to NSU to get your student ID. Be sure to take your passport, photo and migration card. The migration card is the document you were given at the Russian airport border control. Everything is close by on campus. The dormitories, the university and the sport complex. No matter where you want to go, 10 minutes and you are there. You need to find the second block of the new NSU buildings. It's located in the courtyard. There are some useful phrases that will come in handy. Unit 1, Lesson 1. What should I say to the NSU guard? Здравствуйте! Я иностранный студент НГУ. Я иду в бюро пропусков. На мое имя есть служебная записка. Вот мой паспорт. Repeat after me one more time. Здравствуйте! Я иностранный студент НГУ. Я иду в бюро пропусков. На мое имя есть служебная записка. Вот мой паспорт. Добрый день. Ваш пропуск готов. Follow me, I'm going to show you where the NSU Copy Center is located. Unit 1, Lesson 2. What should I say to the Copy Center employee? Здравствуйте. Мне нужно сделать копию всех страниц паспорта и копию миграционной карты. Repeat after me one more time. Здравствуйте. Мне нужно сделать копию всех страниц паспорта и копию миграционной карты. Hello. Goodbye. It's time to make the registration. Take the copies of the passport and migration card that we've just made. Now all you have to do is give your documents to the Office of International Relations and within three days your registration will be ready. Give me please your documents. Let's deal with all the organizational issues right away. We need to go to the International Recruitment Office to get our education contract and the application for accommodation in the dormitory. Sign here. Here you can ask any question you have about your curriculum as well. Where should I go now? Now with your passport, uh, bachelor diploma. This is the International Student Support Center, so follow me. Mm -hmm. 
You need to fill in the questionnaire and then you will get a brochure, a card that says I don't speak Russian and contact information about the office. People who work here are very friendly and they are always ready to help you with any questions, so feel free to contact them. Now you will need some money. I will show you where you can change money or use your card to get money. We start from NSU. Unit 1, Lesson 3. What should I say to a bank employee to exchange money? Здравствуйте! Мне нужно обменять доллары на рубли. Repeat after me one more time. Здравствуйте! Мне нужно обменять доллары на рубли. You see, there's nothing to it. Here you can make a photo for your dormitory pass, right there. Unit 1, Lesson 4. What should I say to a photographer? Здравствуйте! Фото 3 на 4, пожалуйста. Repeat after me one more time. Здравствуйте! Фото 3 на 4, пожалуйста. You can also buy a SIM card. Think! Do you need a SIM card for cheap calls in Russia, for unlimited internet, or to call home? You can get one right here. Unit 1, Lesson 5. How to say that you need a SIM card? Seriously? Все, ага, давай, перезвоню попозже. Здравствуйте. Мне нужна сим-карта с выгодным тарифом для звонков по России. Или Здравствуйте. Мне нужна сим-карта с выгодным тарифом на интернет. Repeat after me one more time. Здравствуйте. Мне нужна сим-карта с выгодным тарифом для звонков по России. Или Здравствуйте. Мне нужна сим-карта с выгодным тарифом на интернет. Ну так а что дальше-то было? And now, an exciting quest. We will do all the paperwork for the dormitory. One, two, three, go! At first, we need to sign an application at the Dean's office. I'm studying at the Institute for the Humanities, so I need to sign it here. Goodbye and good luck. Take your passport along with a dormitory application, signed at the Dean's office and go to the head of the dormitory to sign it. After that, you should go to the student dormitory management office to get a contract for the dormitory and a document you need to get three stamps on. It's here. Give the documents to the office representative, sign the contract, and get your document. Done! Now we need to go to the cashier to pay for the accommodation fees. The NSU cashier's office is located on the first floor of NSU administrative building.
So right here, I can pay all registration fees. If you've got no cash, you can use a card. It's very convenient. Please do not forget to keep all receipts. It's very important. You have done almost everything. Only the medical examination is left. Let the International Student Support Center know in advance. They will help with an appointment at NSU Medical Center. But that's it. After your medical examination, a doctor will put a stamp on the document that proves everything is all right with your health. Now, let's repeat all the steps. We get an application at the Dean's office and sign it. Next, we go to the head of the dormitory and sign it too. Then, we go to the student dormitory management office, fill out a contract and go to the cashier. We pay accommodation fee at the cashier and then go to medical examination. The doctor stamps the document and then we happily give the document to the head of the dormitory. That's it. And now MJ will tell you how to connect to the internet in your room. Hey, did you miss me? Sarah left a very important message for DZ. NSU has a free Wi-Fi, but for the internet to work in your room, you need to know your computer's MAC address. If you go a laptop, you can just take it to room 4203 and do not forget your password. Hi. Hello. This is my passport. I need to connect the internet in my room. You will need to pay for the connection, plus a monthly subscription fee depending on the selected speed. You can pay at various terminals, such as the old building, the new building, and as well as dormitory. First, you enter your contract number. You press the pay button, and then you press continue, and down. In the room, you just have to insert this cord into the computer or router. Router, it works. By the way, you can see where the nearest shops, pharmacy, and entertainment facilities are located in Academic Garadog and Nova Civics using the NSU website. Find the live section and then click on the campus link. You can also find this information in the booklet you got from the International Student Support Center. In this video guide, we told you about your first days on the Vestivic State University campus. Let me remind you that you can always ask for help from volunteers. Just write to International Student Support Center in advance. We wish you a great educational experience and many new friends. See you at NSU. Bye for now.